So financial modeling and valuation has emerged as one of the most promising careers for uh, chartered accountants, cost accountants, MBA finance, engineers, graduates, CA inter. So what exactly <coughs> is this thing called financial modeling? Where exactly are people required here? What is the entire thing? So let us try to understand. So let's say, you know, when demand supply equations really get erratic, uh, you have a sudden emergence of a COVID crisis which is not conducive to business operations. There are erratic swings and corporates need to have a dynamic mechanism where they want to understand the likely impact of uh, the market turbulence on their fortunes. So, for example, this Corona crisis, <coughs> which has happened I, as a company, I would want to understand uh, that, OK, I am Inox, I am PVR. Now, uh, if people don't step into my multiplexes for the next six months how will i work thus i need a financial modeling so one of the most possible uses of generating the financial modeling is the revenue and the expense forecast as the owner of the company as the board of directors of the company i really want to know that okay uh, i have this many plans of spending this many thousand crores on expansion of new multiplexes is this the right time plus i have an existing debt obligation if I do not service this, I will become an insolvent company. The companies will be forced to get into a liquidation or will be put in, into the corporate insolvency resolution process as per the insolvency and the bankruptcy code. So I need a financial model to give me crucial insights for the decision making and all the possible possible. Whether it is a base case, a optimistic case, a pessimistic case, the worst case, how will my profitability come? So like the worst case for Inox PVR will be that no one comes to multiplexes for the next six months. They are completely doomed and they might essentially be on the verge of uh, a complete crash crunch. They don't have money to pay salaries, rentals. They've already invoked force major that way. So we have to build calculations depicting a real life situation, quantifying the inputs of an operation the outputs of an operation and this calculation works as long as the quantum of variables and scenarios are limited. So you can continue to add variables and scenarios. It takes the shape of a model. So in a nutshell, a model is nothing but a series of calculations, whether it's simple or complex. That's a separate thing. So there can be very, very complex models, 100 sheets, 10,000 line items. So 3 million data sets. Yes. They can be simple models, maybe your personal finance model. They can be structured in a particular fashion so that it is comprehensive because most corporates, investment banks will want you to make a financial model, but they don't want you to have the monopoly of the model. They will want you to make it in such a manner that someone else also comes and is able to work on this model. So it should be that comprehensible. So one of the features of financial model will be that it will be very comprehensible. So when is financial model needed? When the decision is complex, the very high risk. So example, I am wanting to spend 10,000 crores to acquire a company. Facebook is investing 40,000 crores to acquire a 9.9% .9 stake in Reliance Geo. Risk are very high. A decision is complex. You don't have any visibility on the results. And you could have two options. Maybe invest in Reliance Geo, maybe invest in some other startup in Europe. How do I compare the two possibility options? And how sensitive it is, for example, if it's like a Swiggy or a Zomato into food delivery, there are a lot of sensitive parameters. How many Indians are going to upgrade into the next lifestyle? They will have smartphones. They will order food online. They will think of downloading Zomato. What will be the market share of Zomato? How many is, uh, will be the frequency of the food ordering? So these are sensitive parameters and accordingly, the fortunes of the company are going to change. And you don't have any reliable rule of thumb. Any startup, for example, whether it's Zomato, Uber, Ola, Amazon, Flipkart, there are no rule of thumbs because humanity hasn't seen any sort of an e-commerce startup of this scale. So how do you actually forecast? Now, an individual is not required to have any formal degree for financial modeling. Commerce graduates, CAs, CFAs, engineers, MBAs. Yes, if you have this, people feel that, okay, this guy is already a graduate. This is he's got a CA inter, a CFA. And trust me, even engineers do financial modeling as well as people with a finance background. So never think that you have a monopoly over PL balance sheet cash flow. So in MBA, my batchmates who have done accounting 
have got lesser grades than the IITians who have learnt accounting on campus. They have done it better. Every computation is not a financial model, and not every C or an MBA can prepare a financial model. So very very niche skill set it takes a lot of effort to prepare a financial model. When is financial model needed, and what is the outcome of it? You can tell the management that hey look, uh, the market has shrunk. So only fifty percent people are going to buy passenger cars post Corona. You need to step up your marketing efforts, or maybe go for cost rationalization if you are a Maruti. and maybe scale down your capex prioritize between two projects because you have limited cash only one of the project you will be able to undertake how much investment capital is required maybe look for additional funding maybe go for a rights issue like reliance has gone undertake production cuts as may be required because unnecessary you are going to keep producing cars people are not going to buy because your predictive analytics says that cars are not going to be sold in the market so you prevent that inventory build up beyond tolerable limits the measures as outlined about could vary according to the unique dynamics of the business if you create a financial model the management can cope up with the uncertainty you at least know that in which range so if you have been earning a 1000 crores per annum you know that in this uncertain times it could range from 200 crores to 800 crores so that's the range in which your fortunes are going to swing companies require robust financial models to help them analyze the complexities of the geography so when i was in tata steel i used to prepare financial model for tata steel Europe, which again comprises of United Kingdom, Netherlands, and then Thailand, Singapore, Indian operations, and then consolidate all of them. So multiple geographies in which businesses operate. Oh, your rooms operates in so many countries. It needs a financial model for that. You need to consider multiple currencies in the projections: euro, dollars, Swiss francs, Chinese uh, renminbi, Thai baht, Singapore dollar, INR. evaluate varying capacities capacity utilizations so that you know that yes this is going to be the optimum capacity under varying industry demand supply situations etc so it's a part art and a part science and uh, there is some theory to this the process should be deliberate thoughtful and uh, you, you need to have that sort of confidence that yes when people are going to grill you on those financial model you need to have that airs of a steve job kind of a thing your model should be in the same breath similar similar to understand and uh, the intellect and interest lies in making a simple a model which can be understood by everyone scalable so if the company moves from 2 billion dollars to 5 billion dollars does your financial model have the capability to handle that if he adds another line of business can you handle that and very robust so that it can accommodate as many changes as required so the idea is that if you've got a power plant before you actually construct the power plant you put up a miniature working model for the power plant that shows the construction of it or something so it's a simplified representation of a company's performance typical financial model will have interest calculations balance sheet cash flows pnl will have various sources of inputs macroeconomic factors gdp growth rate currency crude oil so all of these host of macroeconomic inputs get into a typically into a financial model so you populate your revenue cost of goods sold operational expenses and then the three income statement pnl cash flow and then balance sheet and then capital expenditure how much is your capex plan working capital so you build up these three forecasted financial statements so where are people required in financial modeling dcf modeling you do a discounted cash flow you do an mna modeling where you learn investment banking and corporate finance professionals modern mergers and acquisitions so flipkart being acquired by walmart facebook investing in jio all of these are mna transactions right so how do you build a valuation how do you discount the future cash flows to arrive at okay how many billion dollars i'm going to pay you can have transaction comparables that okay if a deal has happened in the cement industry in the last 5 years these xyz are the three deals and accordingly this deal should be valued at ev to ebitda of this multiple trading comparables and then lbo modeling so if mna a lot of uh, buyouts are leverage buyouts so example tata steel's acquisition of corus or hindalco's acquisition of novelis were leverage buyout where you take debt on the books of the subsidiary so that is something that we buy skills in financial modeling so application is very huge uh, mna capital raising internal planning budgeting forecasting investments valuation scope further increases when you start looking at ad hoc analysis like sensitivity analysis scenario analysis capital rationing return on investments irr 
So if you have financial modeling skill sets, you will be required in private equity, in investment banking, in corporate development, equity research, FPNA. Everyone wants you, whether you are a global firm, a boutique firm, a financial service, domestic brokerages, private equity, AMCs, everyone needs a financial modeling company. So the global or the Indian firms, Bank of America, Citi, Deloitte, EY, Grant Thornton, UBS, Deutsche, JP Morgan, KPMG, Nomura, Ambit, Axis, Crisil, Ilara, IDBI, name it and everyone, Duff and Felch, GS, HSBC, boutique firms. So there are so many boutique uh, investment banking firms, Lodha Capital, Singhi Advisors, IntelliCap, they actually do transactions, Centrum Capital, BMR Advisors, Avista, everyone requires financial modeling skill sets in financial services you have all these kpos thing from imarkserve to smart cube thomson reuters transparent value tres vista aranka adventity amba research e value surf everyone requires financial modeling investment banks so the host of investment banks ey rothschild kotak mahindra so the indian ones as well in icici bank access sbi caps and then the big bulk jp morgan the Deutsche. Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, UBS, Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch, Barclays. Everyone requires people who are very well versed with financial modeling and valuation. So you have people who are recruited in all of these big things. But what I'm saying is that, okay, you are not going to do one course and these people are going to recruit you. You need to have those skill sets developed over a period of time. Maybe you start off with a boutique firm, get those skill sets and then upskill yourself on the shop floor, which is the desk in case of a white collar job and then apply to these places maybe then in course of time acquire an MBA or CFA because that signals to the market that you are very good so host of these companies require people with the financial modeling skill set EY, Grant Thornton, Deloitte, PwC, KPMG, BDO, Singhi, IHS, Moody's, SG Analytics, Genpack, Barclays, Sutherland, JP Morgan, Popal Partners, Duffenfelds, Nangi Advisors, Care, Fitch, Crisil. RBSA, LA Research, E-Value Serve, Resurgent India, BlackRock, WNS, Mazars, Kopalamba, Desai Hari Bhakti. So if you search on Nokri as well, you get 716 financial modeling jobs. And they are spread across the country. 228 jobs are in Delhi, 206 jobs are in Mumbai, 111 jobs in Bengaluru, 118 jobs in Gurgaon itself. And the salary range is also good. 10 to 15 lakhs, 6 to 10 lakhs, 3 to 6 lakhs, 0 to 3 lakhs depending on your experience, depending on the other degrees that you have along with financial modeling. So host of these companies, you know, RBSC Advisors, Transaction Square, everyone, name it and those people need those skill sets. So that's why I would rather recommend that you do a course of financial modeling. I also have a course on financial modeling. It's available on Udemy. The links are given in my LinkedIn profile and uh, you can as well do this course and get a clear understanding of uh, how for example you know if you are part of Avendus which is a boutique investment banking firm it makes transactions in real estate healthcare digital so 1999 it was found and it has got farm easy nephro plus zivame so each time it made these investments it needed a financial model so that it could value them so these skill sets are always going to be there whether you are into an investment bank whether you are on the corporate side in a tata steeler hindalco or reliance industry Everyone who makes investments, everyone who prepares budgets in a company, everyone who makes uh, fundraising. So your bankers are going to ask you for the forecasted cash flows. Your credit rating agencies are going to ask you for your forecasted cash flows. So a investment banking job, a valuation job, insolvency and bankruptcy job, all of these players just want you the moment you have the financial modeling skill sets out there so that's why it's very important to have these skill sets of financial modeling hope you had great learning here thank you so much so there are a lot of questions which i'm having so ashish tiwadi has uh, taken a question that sir is there uh, any certification course of financial modeling there are a lot of certification courses in the market out there so for example i also have extensive courses on financial modeling advanced ms excel you can check that on my linkedin profile Plus, you can search uh, even so. Uh, there are a host of financial models, but let me tell you, the certificate is not as much as important as it is the skill set. So, Ashish, I hope uh, this uh, this 
model yeah this will be part of my course uh, which is there on uh, my linkedin profile so if you subscribe to that course you get lifetime access and you can get this tanmay has a question how do i get into financial modeling as a career uh, so financial modeling as a career you could have a primary deal like being a graduate or an mba finance or a chartered accountant etc or a cfa so the higher your primary degree the financial modeling you can actually get into as we discussed in the powerpoint a host of uh, companies uh, ranging from the big four valuation team to investment banking to equity research firms boutique investment banks and an sbi caps so financial modeling uh, once you have these skill sets you can approach people on linkedin and try to figure out uh, whether they are interested in your skill set maybe you can start off with a kpo out there in delhi or gurgaon or bangalore and uh, accordingly you can get this this is a question on uh, siddharth kodar please recommend good course on learning financial modeling while there are a lot of uh, good courses on financial modeling uh, i also have a course on udemy which is uh, the links you will get on my linkedin profile you can for example uh, start there how can a ca make a career in a chartered accountant can make a fabulous degree in financial modeling and i have seen uh, chartered accountants once they get financial modeling so it's a very difficult profile to get so somehow so you can even get into financial planning analysis profile of corporates or you can get into this big four big five valuation team there are specific valuation team so if you go to the website of the insolvency and bankruptcy board of india there are a lot of uh, registered valuers out there so once you have the skill sets then you can make it very clear that you want to have a career in financial modeling in credit rating agencies etc so uh, then how do sir please get this model yeah we'll send you this file and uh, is bank cma kind of financial model yes banking cma is a kind of financial model but it is not that comprehensive because it does not build in the sensitivities to the so it's like a static set of assumptions that we give to the bank for forecasting but it does not take into consideration like different scenarios that we had just discussed in the last model financial modeling jobs in kolkata for bcom honors graduate yes so in kolkata you have companies uh, such as uh, netscribes and zax research and a lot of boutique equity research firms where if you have financial modeling skill sets you will be required like pwc sgc has got a huge practice in valuations the more than 100 people there so their financial modeling are there this is a question from abhinanda pal then there is a question of hardik to everyone which are the ways a fresher ca can be considered for this profile a fresher ca normally may not get financial modeling and valuation unless you have the skill set so a you need to have those skill sets it's a very high pressure job by the way very rewarding gives you a lot of visibility in an organization but to prepare a financial model is a task because every time if you would have seen one of the recent articles that also i wrote on linkedin that financial modeling is not everyone's cup of tea because it's a very high pressure job within 4 hours you have to prepare a financial model there can be so many mistakes and once you make mistakes bosses just uh, left right and center the kind of put you so uh, then is a question redmi is the name so how can rbi infusing liquidity affect us so if rbi infuses liquidity we will be able to overcome the financial crisis to an extent because Uh, then an entrepreneur can think about taking further loans and restarting business what is the growth rate in my model uh, so it has different uh, scenarios base case as well as pessimistic case so piyush i will have to accordingly moderate the growth rate based on the scenario that i do and all of those assumptions will always be kept in the first sheet the input sheet and you don't touch those uh, sheets later rahul jain how can the parameters be found like rates so there are two kind of parameters rahul one is the external parameters so for example uh, how the diesel prices are going to change in india so for that you get like crude oil forecast for the next 5 years from let's say jp morgan or a goldman sachs report and then you can find the landed cost of crude in india there is something called export price parity and then you can model the price of diesel in india again that's a parameter which you have to just forecast there is no one who can certainly say that in 2024 crude oil prices will be this or the exchange rate for rupee dollar will be like this so these are very important uh, inputs for the financial model because everything will change on that so for example if it's a zomato the parameter will be the penetration assumption that how much percentage of indians will have access to internet and how many of them will download a smartphone uh, app and order food online it's an assumption 
so that can go right wrong so in a financial model you take care of all of those assumptions and try to figure out whether they can be done how can a ca get to it from sp yes ca is definitely a see a chartered accountant a lot of chartered accountants and are into financial modeling so i myself in the year 2008 now we are 2020 12 years i am doing only financial modeling across various houses startups builders itc so cs can get into this it's a difficult profile to get in you need to demonstrate that yes you got very good ms excel skills you can understand so as i quickly took you through the financial models you would have get got some inkling of the fact that uh, it is uh, not so easy like uh, making payments or doing tds deductions you need to comprehensively think about it so i uh, sp that's the thing siddharth putar says please recommend course on financial modeling please uh, so uh, siddharth i have a course on financial modeling that's on uh, linkedin you can check on my profile so it's a four hour course for that maybe you can also do the advanced ms excel course and then you have to start preparing and building financial models on your own so more than doing any course so if you have like the sbi caps ipo coming or sbi cards ipo coming take up that the financials of sbi cards and put it in your financial model and try to value sbi cards and say okay this is the target price of sbi card so one of the important reasons why people use financial model is to forecast the price of a share equity share so once you start practicing so for example you take the financial performance of uh, tata steel and now with covid happening you say that okay if volumes of tata steel go down by 25% what will be the forecasted profit and loss and balance sheet that is more important so once you do any course you will get the basic structure in place how to prepare the pl balance sheet and cash flow and how do you do the sensitivities and all and then you can further build on this and prepare the financial models karan says sir i don't want to continue ca so what is the scope of it as i have cleared ipcc both groups so karan uh, there are a lot of uh, people who are ca intern once they have got the good skill set in financial modeling so there are big four the shared service of big four boutique investment advisors credit rating agencies kpos uh, like moody's and e value serve and copa lamba and crisel which who want ca inter also so please don't lose hope uh, there are a lot of uh, opportunities for ca inter who have done financial modeling and uh, they can get a decent so i will not say that you will get like a hunky dory kind of a job initially you might get a 4 and a half lakh per annum or a 3 and a half lakh per annum kind of a job basis ca inter but once you demonstrate in that organization that you are good people will do it so then uh, we have a question that uh, mehir ja opportunity for a ca i have covered this avindita financial modeling jobs for kolkata we have covered this nikita gupta says can icaw fresher get on this role yes absolutely nikita icaw the best advantage is that your command over cost modeling is very good so you can really forecast the fixed cost and the variable cost much better than any other individual could do if you have the good financial modeling skill sets in terms of your ability to create that on an excel so financial modeling has two parts it's one it is the art of creating that complicated ms excel spreadsheet and i can tell you i'll share you an anecdote uh, so when i was a fresher december 2008 the first time i saw a financial model i had so if you got that i told my boss shift me to corporate accounts i don't i cannot do this i don't want to i cannot do this but he said no since you are good we want you to do this because accounting anyone can do but the management is more concerned with the forecast so as an icw fresher since your command over costing is very good so it's not just as simple as just populating fixed and variable cost you actually have to populate cost from a plant level for example if it is steel making you need to go to the glass furnace level of computation of steel hot metal liquid steel consumption of iron ore coal etc all of that has to be built in then mehir ja has just written sir so that please allow audio for asking questions turn by turn or maybe random hardik what are the basic skill sets which are expected to start learning financial model uh, not really you don't need too many skill sets one some basic skill set on ms excel the ability to create multiple sheets and interlink and then the capabilities like data table analysis scenario building sensitivities etc and most importantly you should understand business and your ability to uh, create a pnl a balance sheet and a cash flow that is important then himanshu sir please send me this model yeah this will be part of the course which i have you can if you went to this how many parameters you used are found rahul we have just discussed this then uh, 
can it be a freelancing job says vidushi bajaj absolutely so recently i was uh, so there for example a lot of uh, startups vidushi who are uh, in the process of raising pay of funds from their pitch deck so they need to prepare financial model to the investors so that is outsourced to a lot of people so where can we get financial modeling into industrial training of chartered accountants so sp this is uh, if that come you are into corporate finance profile you will get this vidushi uh, also has a question that is freelancing financial model is good enough yes you get like 20000 to 50000 rupees for one financial model so in a month if you can get two you're good enough from a is there any scope for those who could not hear cib this is yes absolutely if you are even a graduate you have a good idea of business uh, pnl balance sheet cash flow and excel you can do it megha podar is it a right time for a bba graduate to learn financial modeling before going for an mba yes megha absolutely because uh, in the course of the mba it will be very difficult for you to get uh, the uh, time to learn financial modeling once you have the skill sets straight away in your resume for your summer internship you can put financial model mohit bansal has a question whether financial model is similar or same as the project report cs prepare in office no the project report is based on one set of assumptions financial model is used for dynamic decision making where it is very volatile whether let's say you are an inox or a pvr and you have no freaking idea that what is going to happen for till march whether people are going to cinema halls or not now with those various scenarios you can do this uh so someone has asked my linkedin profile so i am just going to share this uh this is my linkedin profile you can check this what are the job opportunities uh, in pune admin says there are uh, a lot of uh, kpos in pune as well as big four so that can be there her rishikesh shavan says i am a sports analyst i am good at ms excel i prepare starts for team but i am financial modeling to enter finance world i am be can i get in a job in finance currently 20000 yes yeah, if you even if you start with financial modeling i think 30 35000 40000 is the kind of job that you have you should also do cfa accordingly according to me siddharth chaturvedi says financial modeling versus valuations versus financial planning so financial planning is mostly done in corporates where they prepare their annual business plan for financial modeling for that you require a financial model and the valuations is when let's say you are doing an ipo valuation or you are doing an mna transaction so once you forecast the cash flow stream they are used to value the firm then uh, you have a question rishikesh answer has been ashish tiwari i have given my linkedin profile mohit bansal says whether financial modeling similar or we have also done this avindya pol does job of fund administrator use financial modeling no fund administrator does n nav calculation and hedge fund recalculation that will not be required it helps yeah. so redmi says uh, does it help in jobs yes definitely make up of that question has been answered vidushi has been answered uh, parsha says so how do you get into financial modeling field you need to get that one break uh, path by getting into that course and uh, doing some sort of a course getting some skill sets and then going out to people and say hey i have got these skill sets why don't you test me so nowadays companies have started taking tests of your financial modeling skill sets also they will ask you to prepare a financial model in a span of 2 hours if you can do that they will take you then uh, we have slightly debating sir can you comment how the placement scenario will be for ones who are going for two year mba from tier 2 colleges uh, so by the time you graduate uh, things are going to be very good so after 2008 2009 10 when the world revived uh, people really got started getting very good jobs the problem will happen for people who have graduated this year and maybe trying for uh, placements in november there the problem will happen piyush astana will your book be delivered during lockdown once the lockdown starts uh, ends yes the book will be delivered by that time you can look, look at the kindle version mehija says where do you get your advanced excel course again it is put on my linkedin profile uh, you can get this mehij and uh, sp this question has been considered hardik does the im degree get you financial modeling career over ca no no i got uh, the financial modeling career as a chartered accountant itself in itc in fact i was an industrial trainee in itc when i got my first assignment of financial modeling doing the financial model of a hotel and uh, then i went to tata steel as a fresher and prepared financial model for steel companies after i am also i was doing the same thing for mining companies but yes at a much larger level then siddharth uh, that question is there then maybe some new questions sumit uh, kejriwal can you 
CA club, can you share the link of the course? Uh, so my link of the course is there. I can just put it there if everyone wants it. Uh, so I'm just putting it. If everyone wants it. Then uh, is financial modeling used in equity research? Yes, definitely. All the share, uh, share prices are computed to so the target which you get like CLSA target, etc. They are required. Redmi says, does that help in investment banking? All of it happens uh, through financial models only. How do you uh, prepare uh, the financial model? Otherwise, how will you value that? How many billion dollars you need to pay for this company? So for example, Facebook has invested in WhatsApp. So they have definitely prepared a financial model. Only then they have been able to arrive at the valuation that they gave to this. Can this video be uploaded in your channel? Yes, CA Club India is going to do that. Is financial modeling, Keshav Jajodi has a very good question. Is financial modeling done essentially on Excel or spreadsheet? Yes, primarily Excel. But nowadays there are a lot of advanced models also. You, have, you can do Python modeling and R and SAS. And that also can be done. Then uh, the Pankar Mukherjee, CA Inter, CS Executive, MBS graduate. How to initiate with financial modeling learning? By just doing any course, uh, maybe you can pick up online any good source start preparing those models and then try to get out uh, some companies since you have already done cs executive and ca enter there will be a lot of kpo so example pwc sdc has got a valuation team they will be happily taking you if you are good enough samit kumar is it compulsory for doing sap course for ca student no financial modeling is not compulsory for doing sap course sap will help you do financial accounting here you are supposed to do more of uh, financial modeling which is about the future Raghu Ram Rajan says 65,000 crore needed for poor. Can modeling be done for it? Yes, definitely. Because you can model the number of poor, the income deficit that they will have, their basic necessities, etc. And you can do it. Then Deepankar says, any link with data analysis and financial modeling? Yes, uh, Deepankar. So the past data, you do a lot of regression and arrive at those predictive analytics. And that is what you use in the financial model for the future. For us, is financial modeling with a big data R? Yes, uh, R can be used. And uh, does Tata Steel Finance even provide good opportunities for financial modeling? Yes, uh, they do provide. And we are going to just wrap it up in uh, maybe two, three minutes more. Uh, so any other question that I have left? Is financial modeling practice good in monetary terms? Yes, SP, because a lot of startups and businesses require financial modeling. Plus, if you become a registered valuer, as per the insolvency and bankruptcy board of India also, you need to prepare the financial model, otherwise you will not do that. And I think we are mostly done with uh, the questions. I have covered most of them. In case there is anything else, you can always connect with me on LinkedIn and maybe, yes, uh, just we can do it. And I am sorry, I was not drawing on the screen. It was some uh, participant who wanted to play spoil sport and uh, he started the game, I do not know. Even yes, financial modeling Piyush is required for MBO as well as uh, for LBO. That's it. So uh, thank you so much everyone for this course. Industrial training opportunities, yes. I am good at financial modeling, not in financial reporting. It's good, then you should have to do that. And yes, I have a YouTube channel, Vidushi. You can check it out there. Meherjah, thank you, thank you. So it's my pleasure. Uh, my YouTube channel, you can just search Google Anurag single, you will have uh, the links populating. It's for 50,000 subscribers. Backend job do MBBs have for CAs? Uh, yes, a lot of financial modeling work MBBs have, they give it to CA. Any coding language financial, initially I will say do it in Excel and later maybe you can get into Python and R and SAS, but not really. So thank you all uh, for this session. I really look forward uh, to, and yes, uh, Saptak, uh, Saptaki Das, yes, you can shift the career midway, depending you need to have some godfather who can give you that break. Yes, I will do a session on MA and investment banking probably later, Siddharth, and you can do it. All right, thank you so much uh, for being uh, a patient host. Apart from the fact that someone played spoil sport and was uh, doing some craziness on the screen, uh, we were really doing good uh, job thank you so much and i hope you give me a good feedback on this